I don't make up, but I'm fine. I know how to cook. But I'm asking the question you are also asking. The breast and the nash, what the day? My, 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 my nash, they are okay. At least they are doing better than the current government. Yes. They are coming. Those who know me, they know that. Oh, if you are your, your nash, they are coming. They are loading 50%. But my breasts, that's the only disability I have. Yeah, when I'm, when I'm feeling a form and, you know, the person there, they are like, disability, I write small breasts. <laughs> my breasts are so small that you don't press them, you pinch. <laughs> yeah. And if you pinch them so hard, you so this guy, you know how men they suck breasts. You know this guy was, was sucking my breasts so hard. It was like he was he was he was sucking a mukha ginger. I was like, bruh, <laughs> take your time. <laughs> He's like, oh, you know I'm in the mood. I'm like, I know what I'm talking about. I know my body. Take your time. He didn't listen. So you know, they, they suck, they go off, and then they come back to suck again. When he came, the left breast was in there. <laughs> and then he was like, ah, if you are, I, I, I feel something in your throat. And say, you know, you yeah, so that's how I let him cough my, my breast into my hand, and I was like, Look, look in the drawer there, we will super glue of my knife and some And someone is like, oh, the way you talk about your breast, is it that bad? Yeah. It's that bad that it has the same characteristic as A. You know, when we're in JHS, integrated size, they taught us that A cannot be seen, but it can be felt. You can't see them, you can only feel them when you touch them. Yeah, and as small as they are, <laughs> you know, normal breasts, they go forward. Mine go sideways. <laughs> Russia, Ukraine, they are fighting. Ever since I was born, my, my two breasts are fighting. I don't know what's wrong with them. And when I lie on my back, you see them sneaking through my armpits. Yeah, so you know, sometimes I... I finish bathing, I look myself in the mirror, I look at them and I, I go like sneaky as breasts. Yeah. But some people are like, oh, if you are God created us all equal, I was like, yeah. you can't tell me this story. You mean the God that created the sinter's breasts? He's the same person who created this. So it makes me think, am I God's neighbor's child? Or it's like he borrowed the, the clear from someone. You know, like when when he finished creating someone, it was like, uh, oh, I have this talented girl I want to bring to the world. Be clear, son. And Jesus asked our neighbor if he has clear. The guy was like, oh, the clear is almost finished. But like, I'll give her talent. So the breast and the motors, they don't matter. That's how he gave me talent. And he gave others breast and motors. They are doing it. They are using it for work. I'm not the one who said it. Someone said hey, she she eats off her ass. Yeah, so me too, I eat off here. And my breast. Obviously, hey. for you. Who should I talk about? But I think God loves me so much such that as little as my daughters are. He managed to divide them into two. Yeah, and that's, that's what you Christians, you say, God always makes a way where there seems to be no way. Yeah, but I think I like lab technicians because they appreciate little things. They are those people who make tiny things appear bigger. 
through a microscope. So I was meeting this lab technician guy and I will complain bitterly about my body, especially my, my breast and my toes. And he's like, Efia, your breasts are not that bad. They are perfect through my lens. I was like, bars, nigga. But that guy, you know, he lied to me. In the beginning of the relationship, he was like, girl, I don't really care about your body type. What really matters now, your vibe. Alas, alas. He did me. Girl, I didn't really care about the body type. The vibe alone is not enough. So that's how I got him with another girlfriend. And I was angry. You know, when, when girls, they, they catch their husbands, their boyfriends, cheating on them, they ask silly questions. What does she have that I don't have? Is she woman enough? It was like, baby, calm down, it's not what you think. When he showed me Anita's picture, and I was like, indeed, she has everything I do not have. Big breasts. Anita has breasts. And I was like, oh babe, let me explain. They have explanations for everything, especially those we call Ura. Yeah. They will steal your white. Take the white to the laundry. Bring it back to the house and mop it on the floor. So Ura was like, oh, if you're it's not, it's, it's, it's not what you think. Uh, you know, research, and, and it's true, research has shown that if a man stares at boobs, I mean breast, it expands his lifetime, right? Uh, I will say yes. So it was like, you know, after work, when I'm stressed, I lay in her cleavage so that I really stress. Not that, like, mm, it makes sense. So the next day was Sunday, he was stepping out, and I was like, eh, Oriel, when you go to Anita's place? I was like, no. I said, like, oh, yeah. I'm not angry. Will you go to Anita's place? I was like, eh, yes. No, I said, cool. He said, why? I was like, boy, my stress is rough. I was like, ah, if, you are, if you are stressed, ah, hey, I also need breast. So, so he took me along. And then from that day, you come to Anita's house, I'll be sucking the left breast, my boyfriend will be sucking the right breast. Yeah. That's how Anita became my bestie and my stress release. Um, let's give it up for Jacinta. She's now far. And she's doing amazingly well. Last week I posted a flyer on my status and someone texted me was like, I really want to come for this show. And I was like, yes, come. But I may not make it on time. I was like, why? He said, oh, I don't know from Kumasi to Accra, it's four hours. And I'll be done with my meeting around five. I was like, nigga, the last thing to Accra is four hours, depending on the pockets. <laughs> if you have money, in this current economy, if you have money, the last thing to Accra is 30 minutes. Am I lying? If you are average, the last thing to Accra is four hours, like you say. But if, if you don't have money at all, the last thing to Accra is 15 minutes, and which one? <laughs> Thank you ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sophia Basuna, enjoy the rest of the day.